Welcome to Science Easy Tech Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about conceptual framework in nursing research. This video will be useful for BSc nursing students, MSc nursing students as well as post basic BSc nursing students. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech Channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic. Let's see the definition of conceptual framework. It is a written or visual presentation that explains the main things to be studied either graphically or in narrative form. So it's a written or visual presentation of the main things what you are studying either in a graphical representation method or in a narrative form method. So what you will be representing graphically and in narrative form the key factors, concepts or variables, the key factors, concepts or variables and the assumed relationship or presumed relationship among them the key factors concepts or variables and what is the relationship among these concepts or key factors with variables so this definition was given by miles and huberman this definition was given by miles and huberman next to moving on to the purposes of conceptual framework first purpose is to identify relevant variables second purpose is to define variables and third purpose is to have an idea of analysis so first purpose you can identify the relevant variables and to define the variables as well as you will be having an idea about the analysis next to moving on to genesis genesis or that is formation of synthesis of conceptual framework so it is created from a variety of conceptual and theoretical perspective so where this conceptual framework is formed by means of a variety of conceptual and theoretical perspectives then conceptual meaning means synthesis or formation of relevant concepts what is the meaning of conceptual synthesis of relevant concepts what is the underlying process it is inductive reasoning so inductive directive everything i will be explaining in detail uh, in my next video that is uh, types of scientific research under that you have inductive type and directive uh, type so in inductive uh, what uh, you are uh, you are uh, from specific observations you are coming to general conclusions from specific observations you are coming to general conclusions uh, that is called as inductive Next, how to draw a conceptual framework? If you want to draw a picture of our conceptual framework, how we have to draw? First, we have to draw a picture of our statistical model that would be representing the conceptual framework because in that statistical model, uh, why we are telling it as conceptual framework means because you will be having all the variables and its relationship with one another. Okay. So, if you want to draw a picture of your statistical model, this will be your conceptual framework because it visualizes the variables and how they are related generally framework may include one outcome and multiple hypothesis associated frame factors so the, this conceptual framework uh, usually there will be so many factors which will be uh, ultimately connected with one outcome so the outcome may be one but there are so many factors which are hypothesized uh, um, to get this outcome so next is steps in developing conceptual framework so what are all the steps uh, we, uh, are there in developing conceptual framework? First is you have to identify the relevant concept. First identify the relevant concept. Next is define those concepts, operationalize those concepts, identify any interfering or intervening or moderating variables. Then identify the relationship between variables. So these are the five steps. What are the five steps? Identifying the relevant concepts, defining those concepts, operationalizing the concepts then identifying any moderating or intervening variables next step identifying the relationship between variables so identify the concepts define the concepts operationalize the concepts identify any moderating or intervening variables and then identify the relationship between variables how does conceptual framework look either the conceptual framework will be looking like an equation form or it can be looked like a diagrammatic form so when it comes to diagrammatic form again you will be having three subtypes overlapping domains framework sequential framework and ecological framework 
framework so how does the conceptual framework look either in equation form or in diagrammatic form under diagrammatic form again you have three types what are they overlapping domain sequential framework and ecological framework so let's see one by one so how it is represented in equation form how it is expressed in diagrammatic form See conceptual framework as an equation. So here you will be having A plus B plus B is equal to C. That is many factors will be leading to an outcome. For example, it can be A plus B plus C plus D plus E is equal to F like that also. Here, for example, age, your age factor, your sex factor, that is your gender, as well as poor sanitation and environmental factors, everything is going to... Um, have an impact on the condition diarrhea age plus sex plus poor sanitation plus environmental factors all these are going to have an influence on the outcome that is diarrhea condition next is conceptual framework by means of diagrammatic form so first thing what i have told is equation next is diagrammatic form under diagrammatic form again there are three subtypes no so each subtype we will be seeing conceptual framework as overlapping domains see overlapping domains in max and all you have seen about venn diagram domain a domain b domain c so here in overlapping domains domain a domain b domain c all are interrelated to a particular aspect what i have marked in orange color okay uh, next term uh, here let's see um, uh, one example so for the condition hair fall there are so many factors which are having an interference uh, okay genetic factor individual factor under individual factor you may have age sex and your personal hygiene habits uh, your bathing habits uh, okay everything then uh, in environmental factors again uh, the water condition whether uh, the water is salt water like that uh, and uh, pollution uh, temperature climate everything is have an impact on the condition hair fall so your genetic factors your individual factors and your environmental factors will be playing an impact on your hair fall so this is conceptual framework as overlapping domain next we will see conceptual framework as sequential diagram in sequential diagram so one leads to other like that it comes so there will be three major components that is distal determinants proximal determinants and outcome distal determinants proximal determinants and outcome distal proximate and outcome so here in distal determinants you have subdomain 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 so many subdomains are there so it proximal determines you may have sub domain a domain b like that which lead to the condition so let me explain with an example so that you will be having a clear idea see here um, the first thing is distal determinants the second thing is proximate determinants and the final thing is outcome see here when it comes to um, uh, distal determinants it can be socioeconomic status knowledge and awareness and your attitude what are the proximal determinants food consumption dietary habits and practices physical activity which all leads to obesity which is the outcome condition so all this uh, uh, distal determinants is going to have an impact socioeconomic status is going to have an impact on food dietary habits physical activity similarly knowledge is also going to have an impact on uh, food consumption dietary habits and physical activity attitude also has an uh, impact on food consumption dietary habits and practices and physical activity all are going to lead to obesity the condition obesity so this is with regard to conceptual framework as a sequential diagram next is conceptual framework as an ecological model in ecological model individual his relationship with community society individual relationship community society these four components comes under ecological model let us see an example for example violence against domestic against women violence against women which is influenced in individual perspective relationship community and society perspective in individual perspective violence against women see being male alcohol use witnessing marital violence as a child absent or rejecting father and being abused as a child so individual factors are being male alcohol use witnessing uh, marital violence as a child absent or rejecting father and being abused as a child whereas in relationship you have a uh, male dominance in the family the male will be dominating in the family marital conflict uh, um, conflict in marriage life then community because of so poverty low socioeconomic status isolation of uh, woman and family and peer group which comes under community so these are the community factors which may have an impact on violent violence against woman 
Next, moving on to societal factors, men control over female, acceptance of violence, male dominance, rigid gender roles. In society, men control over female, acceptance of violence, do male dominance and rigid gender roles. All these are going to have an impact on violence against women. To conclude, concepts are nothing but they are mental images or ideas relating to phenomena or objects that share common properties. Therefore, conceptual framework sets the stage for the presentation of research question. To conclude, what are concepts? Concepts are nothing but they are mental images or ideas relating to a phenomena or objects that share common properties. Therefore, conceptual framework sets the stage for the presentation of a research question. Hope this video is clear for you all. Already we have posted many videos with related to nursing research and statistics. Watch our channel playlist BSC Nursing 4th year. Nursing research and statistics for more related videos. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel. My previous videos link I have given in description box. Suggested I cards and N card. If you still have any doubts, please feel free to post your doubts in comment section. Thank you friends. Keep supporting to Science Easy Tech channel.